Vladimir Putin has delivered an address to Russia in which he blamed Kiev, the West and Russian traitors for an attempted coup. Vladimir Putin has said the organizers of the march on Moscow will be brought to justice and promised to punish the traitors who betray Russia during an address to the nation. The despot claimed on Russian state TV that the rebellion is precisely what the neo-Nazis in Kiev and the West wanted and slammed Wagner Group chief Evgeny Prigozhin for his criminal activity, which aims at weakening the country. Minutes before the first address went live on Russian state TV, Putin's press secretary Dmitry Peskov said, These statements, without exaggeration, will determine the fate of Russia. Following his address, Putin chaired a meeting with the heads of his security forces and is expected to speak publicly again shortly. The public appearance comes just days after he faced an attempted coup by the Wagner Group, who marched within 200 kilometers of Moscow on Saturday. Putin said, This is a colossal threat. From outside we are threatened. However, the organizers of this rebellion have, also, betrayed those people, who were dragged into this organization. Today, after two days of quiet following the march on Moscow, Prigozhin also broke his silence in an 11-minute audio rant on Telegram, calling it a march of justice, that was never intended to bring down Vladimir Putin. He said the aim of the march on Moscow, was to avoid the destruction of the Wagner Group, which he claims was bound to cease existence on July 1st. He claimed there were plans to incorporate his group into the defense ministry, which his men were opposed to.